Hello everyone, I'm Miss Gladys and I'm going to be your teacher for today. The lesson that I'm going to be telling you for today is about how God created the heaven and the earth. But before that, let us bow our head and pray. Oh gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for your word. We pray for understanding and wisdom as we study it. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, my Lord, Amen. Okay, boys and girls, do you know what is our memory verse for today? It's from the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and it says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Let me say it again. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you the story how God created the heaven and the earth. Long, long ago, there was nothing at all. There were no people, there were no animals, there was no world, nothing at all to see. But God was there. The Lord was alive when there was nothing else. He has always been alive. God had a wonderful plan. He created the heavens and the earth. At first, when God looked across the heaven, everything was dark. The earth was an empty place, but God wasn't finished yet. On the first day of creation, the Lord God said, Let there be light. Instantly, everything lit up. God called light day, and he called darkness night. God made light so there would be both day and night for the earth. God saw that the light was good, but he wasn't finished yet. On the second day, the God said, let there be sky. And at the moment, light, blue sky and clean, fresh air appeared. God formed puffy white clouds. He made deep, blue oceans, but God wasn't finished yet. And on the third day of creation, the Lord God said, Let there be land. God moved the water on the earth to make room for dry land. He made many rivers and lakes. Beautiful mountains and plains and valleys appeared. God saw that the land and the seas were good but he wasn't finished yet. And next, the Lord God said, let there be trees and bushes and grass and flowers to decorate the land to make it more beautiful. All the plants and trees and flowers had seeds. God made seeds so they would grow even more plants and trees. There would always be plenty of green plants on earth. God saw that plants and trees were good, but he wasn't finished yet. And on the fourth day of creation, the Lord God made a big bright sun to shine in the sky all day long. He made the moon and the twinkling stars to shine in the sky at night. God saw that the sun and moon were good, but he wasn't finished yet. The Lord was happy with his work. Now, after four days, God had created the heaven with the bright sun, the moon, and the stars to shine in the sky. God had created the earth with water, land, and all kinds of animals to grow in the soil. The Lord God saw that everything he had made was good. So kids, and that is how God created the heaven and the earth. And well, for you parents, this is the part of the lesson where you can help your child with to complete with their worksheets. And if your child knows their memory verse, please record them. And say it once again, the memory verse is from the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. One more time, 
It's from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, so before we end it, we will all bow our head and pray. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your lesson for today. Thank you for the wonderful creation. It only shows how much you love us. Again, thank you so much. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye!